Hello, I'm Dr. Tsai, the acupuncturist and the herbalist, of course the artist. So today we still are going to continue to cook this art and uh, to follow the flow and to create this art. I want to see what the, the arts I created last times. You know, it's very interesting, you know, a lot of things is very surprising and uh, this is very unexpected. You can see this is, it looks beautiful. Believe it or not, you know, a lot of things. This is very unusual. Oh, this is still even still a little still a little wet. Oh, oh, this is nice. Yeah. Oh, it's still really wet. Still wet. Um. Oh my God, this is still really wet. Yeah. So anyway. So I'm going to try to make this a little bit higher. Okay. So make this something a little unexpected. Uh, so this, uh, see, hopefully, it's a little bit different. Okay. And uh, I'm still going to plan for it. Still keep cooking. So, gonna see what's this here. Pretty cool. All right, I think I have enough for today, believe it or not. Let me see what they look like. Oh, uh, actually, it's pretty cool. And, uh, we're gonna see how the color come out and uh, see every day you're gonna your feeling is gonna be a little different the moods is a little different and the way you do it is gonna be a little different so you can see these uh, paintings and uh, at the top of course they do spread out and outside and other side so that's a pretty interesting see that's why the just have to keep cooking until well done just like uh, like the food you know see a lot of things including the food arts everything is about the yin and yang everything is related with the Taoism thank you for watching so I'm going to show you the pictures everything uh, later thank you Bye. come on this I let go of economics and people become prosperous. I let go of religion, and people become serene. I let go of all desire for the common good, and the good becomes common as grass. 58. If a country is governed with tolerance, the people are comfortable and honest. If a country is governed with repression, the people are depressed and crafty. When the will to power is in charge, the higher the ideals, the lower the results. Try to make people happy, and you lay the groundwork for misery. Try to make people moral, and you lay the groundwork for vice. Thus the master is content to serve as an example and not to impose her rule. She is pointed, but doesn't pierce. Straightforward, but supple. Radiant, but easy on the eyes. 59. For governing a country well, there is nothing better than moderation. The mark of a moderate man is freedom from his own ideas. Tolerant like the sky, all-pervading like sunlight, 
firm like a mountain, supple like a tree in the wind, he has no destination in view and makes use of anything life happens to bring his way. Nothing is impossible for him. Because he has let go, he can care for the people's welfare as a mother cares for her child. 60. Governing a large country is like frying a small fish. You spoil it with too much poking. Center your country in the Tao and evil will have no power. Not that it isn't there, but you'll be able to step out of its way. Give evil nothing to oppose and it will disappear by itself. 61. When a country obtains great power, it becomes like the sea. All streams run downward into it. The more powerful it grows, the greater the need for humility. Humility means trusting the Tao, thus never needing to be defensive. A great nation is like a great man. When he makes a mistake, he realizes it. Having realized it, he admits it. Having admitted it, he corrects it. He considers those who point out his faults as his most benevolent teachers. He thinks of his enemy as the shadow that he himself casts. If the nation is centered in the Tao, if it nourishes its own people and doesn't meddle in the affairs of others, it will be a light to all nations in the world. 62. The Tao is the center of the universe, the good man's treasure, the bad man's refuge. Honors can be bought with fine words, respect can be won with good deeds, but the Tao is beyond all value, and no one can achieve it. Thus, when a new leader is chosen, don't offer to help him with your wealth or your expertise, offer instead to teach him about the Tao. Why did the ancient masters esteem the Tao? Because, being one with the Tao, when you seek, you find, and when you make a mistake, you are forgiven. That is why everybody loves it. 63. Act without doing. Work without effort. Think of the small as large and the few as many. Confront the difficult while it is still easy. Accomplish the great task by a series of small acts. The master never reaches for the great. Thus she achieves greatness. When she runs into a difficulty, she stops and gives herself to it. She doesn't cling to her own comfort, thus problems are no problem for her. 64. What is routed is easy to nourish. What is recent is easy to correct. What is brittle is easy to break. What is small is easy to scatter. Prevent trouble before it arises. Put things in order before they exist. The giant pine tree grows from a tiny sprout. The journey of a thousand miles starts from beneath your feet. Rushing into action, you fail. Trying to grasp things, you lose them. Forcing the project to completion, you ruin what was almost ripe. Therefore the master takes action by letting things take their course. He remains as calm at the end as at the beginning. He has nothing, thus.